Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your race review to the Japanese Grand Prix. Max Verstappen wins ahead of Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri. He finally gets on the podium, absolutely well deserved, because he's been one of the most unluckiest drivers on the F1 grids this year. So to finally get on the podium, really happy for the Australian. I really am. At the start of the race, Oscar Piastri had a good start. Lando Norris also got a good start. But that Red Bull was just too strong off the line. It stayed in the lead. Sergio Perez, what an absolute awful, disastrous race he had. He tried to squeeze out my driver at Lewis Hamilton. Caused a bit of damage to my driver. He locks up and ruined Kevin Magnussen's race. And later on, retired Perez. Absolutely shocking. What an awful weekend for the Mexican drawing her, honestly. And how Red Bull are keeping them on next year is absolutely beyond me. But it's not my team. They've made the decision. So, bizarre one, I know. But it's Red Bull's decision. Obviously, all I care about is my team, Ferrari. Red Bull do win their sixth Constructors title, back-to-back -back championships. Huge credit to Adrian Newey for that. And he's the one I respect the most in that team. But obviously... Oh, sorry, Dad. Um, but obviously, yeah, six championships in a row for Red Bull. That's absolutely unbelievable. But Adrian Newey is the driver I respect the most in the team. Well, not the driver, the principal, technical director, who, who and what his role is. So, yeah, he's built an absolute rocket ship. So, huge credit to Adrian Newey for winning six championships in a row. I mean, wow, absolutely unbelievable. Well, not six in a row, two titles in a row, but six altogether for the team. Yep, fair play. He's the only one I get credit for, Agent Newey, in the Red Bull team. But yeah, awful weekends for Sergio Perez. Logan Sargent's awful. I mean, why he's still on this grid, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. I mean, wow, absolutely unbelievable. This guy needs to announce his misery, honestly. And one of my subscribers commented saying... Remove Logan Sargent on William's Instagram account. And they removed his comment. I mean, you can hardly say anything these days. But my subscriber is talking facts. I mean, Logan Sargent is absolutely useless. He needs putting out of his misery. I mean, Perez did come out for a couple of laps just to do a test session. But he was seen back in the garage again. Lance Stroll retired. Alex Albon retired. I mean, he was really unlucky, Alex Albon. He had his race ruined, really, on lap one. He had too much damage. So, yeah, shame for Alex Albon. Bottas, though, what a horrendous weekend for Bottas and for Alfa Romeo in general. Just shocking. Nowhere in this weekend, Alfa Romeo. But, anyway, that was quite an enjoyable race. So, race rating, I'll probably get it about. 6 out of 10. Don't think it's the best of Grand Prix, so there's some good overtaking. I mean, that move Oscar Piastri made on, I think it was George Russell. I mean, what a move by Oscar Piastri. That was fantastic. Lando Norris, I mean, is absolutely fantastic getting P2. That's impressive. He was doing so well. I mean, absolutely Unbelievable driving by Lando Norris. He controlled them tyres well. Obviously got ahead of his teammate in the start of the race because he had a better start. Tried to go for the Red Bull. Almost got him, but a Red Bull just had too much pace. But Ferrari today, P4, P6, I think that's the best sighting could have done today. Still points gained on Mercedes though, so I'm happy about that. Hopefully that's a step closer to us finishing second in the Constructors again. I mean, second is not great because 
obviously I was the luckiest to win the championship, but it's the best you could hope for, you know, for like prize money and that gets in second place is the second best thing. But obviously, yeah, ah, my team missing out on this title again, but <laughs> we've not been good enough this year. But we've been solid recently, so I have to give my team credit, don't I? Liam Lawson finishing ahead of Yuki Tsunoda. That's huge for Liam Lawson. Yuki Tsunoda, he had a decent home race as well. But yeah, Stroll, we can get for him. He retired with rear wing damage. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And yeah, sorry about that slight distraction earlier. I slightly fluffed to my lines. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow for driving ratings and team ratings and i'll be back at 6 p.m tonight with my manchester united player ratings burnley versus manchester united player ratings thank you very much for watching bye bye